back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting, obviously, yet another reading vlog for you guys, and I am so freaking excited about this one. Like, I know I say that about all of them, because I am. But this one I am specifically excited about because, again, I do have a theme for this reading vlog, and that is me reading spooky romance books. And if you guys know me at all, you know that I love spooky romance books. Like, for the most part, I don't love contemporary romance, like, on its own. I'm kind of like, you know, it's fine. There's some that I like, there's some that I don't. But I feel like for the most part with romance books that are spooky, even if it's contemporary, I still like absolutely adore it. So I have three books on this TBR. Not all of them are contemporary. There is one with a historical setting, which I'm even more excited about that one because we all know how I feel about things with a historical setting, especially spooky things with a historical setting. I just like, I cannot wait. So I have three books that I'm going to be reading in this vlog. You will see that one is annotated because it will be a reread. And we all know what that one is at this point. So let me just talk you through the three books that I'm hoping to read in this vlog and then we'll get into it. So the first one is going to be my reread of The X-Hacks by Erin Stir. There's a cat. Oh, no, you're not getting away that easily. Oh, come on, say hi. She's not happy. I'm sorry, Fritz. What was I saying? I think I was talking about The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. This is one of my absolute favorite books. Like, it is so much fun. It is the perfect spooky rom-com. If you go into it just expecting a good witchy time, like, you're gonna love it, trust me. Like, if you don't take it too seriously, it is just the perfect book for this time of year. I've read it twice at this point on my channel, so probably I'm not going to talk, like, too, too much about it. Unless I have, like, some new interesting epiphanies about it, but I have a feeling I won't. So, um, this will just be happening, and I think I'm gonna start with this one because this is, like, this is how I know it's fall. You know, like, when I read the X-Hex, that's how I know it's fall. And the next book I have here I'm also super excited about, and that is Anatomy, A Love Story by Dana Schwartz. This one is set in the 1800s in Edinburgh, and I'm like, okay. Like, that's all I needed to know, thank you. This one I recently talked about in my fall TBR, but if you missed it, I'm gonna give you like a very short synopsis. So basically this follows our main character, Hazel, who wants to be a surgeon, but because she is a woman in the 1800s, she can't. So um, she makes this deal with the professor of this like lecture that she wants to go to, that if she can pass the medical examination without going to class, he will allow her to continue her medical career. Which is obviously whack, but I feel like that's obvious, you know, but basically in order to like study for the medical examination, test, whatever, she needs bodies to practice on. Enter our other main character, Jack, who is a resurrection man, meaning that he is going to dig up dead bodies from their graves for her to practice on. So, um, so like dark and spooky and I just cannot wait for this one because I think it's going to be really, just a really good time. I know it sounds weird, but like I just know it's gonna be a good time. And then the last book that I want to read in this video is... Maybe I should get the dust jacket out for it. Like every time I hold this book up right now, I have to like just show the spine. And I'm kind of sick of doing that, so the dust jacket is going back on it. The last one is obviously Bring Me Your Midnight by Rachel Griffin. I again... I'm, you know, I'm not gonna say I'm excited about it again. Because again, um, better adjectives elude me, apparently. This one is witchy. It is a romance. I don't know anything else about it, to be honest. I haven't even read the blurb. <laughs> I just read Rachel Griffin's other two books and I was like, well, it's probably gonna be pretty much the same. So I'm probably going to enjoy it. So I will just let you guys know what this one is about when I read some more of it, you know? So here are the three books that I'm planning on reading in this vlog. Honestly, the TBR that I have for this week, I cannot wait. But actually, I do have three other things, or well, maybe not all three of them, but I have some other things that I'm planning on reading in this vlog as well. They are, I think they're manga. I'm pretty sure they're manga. I do need to later go pick them up from the library though, because I had a hold on them and the hold just came in and it's, Oh, it's gonna be ridiculous, but it's gonna be so much fun. So you guys will definitely see that later. And it definitely like fits in with the theme of this video because it is vampire romance. Like, you guys already know. Like, honestly, if you guys can guess what it is, please let me know because I feel like I've been meaning to read these for quite a while. If you have any guesses, let me know, but I will show you guys them like later today, so. I'm super excited about that as well. So I think that is everything that I had to tell you in this intro. As I said earlier, I'm going to be starting with the X-Hex and I will talk to you guys in a little bit.
quite a few hours later, but I do have quite a few updates for you guys. First of all, I did start the X-Hex. I am on page 120, which is chapter 13. I just get so excited every time I read this book and it just puts me in such a good mood and I love it. <laughs> like, I really do just love it. So I will tell you guys what this is about briefly. So this follows our main character, Vivi, who is dating this guy named Reese when she was in college. And you know, everything was like going fine until one day they're just kind of hanging out and casually he's like, hey, I'm gonna have to go back to Wales for the week because my father has set up this betrothal for me and I need to get out of it. And naturally, like, she's pissed because he's known this all along. He just didn't tell her. And then she breaks it off. So they go their separate ways. Later that night, obviously, she is very upset about it and she is hanging out with her cousin. And like, kind of as a joke, they're like, what if we hexed him? So they go through this whole like allegedly fake like witchy ritual to curse him essentially, but they don't really think anything is going to come of it until 10 years later, he comes back to this town and he seems to have a lot of bad luck. Like a lot of bad things are going on. And obviously at some point he and Vivi kind of, you know, stumble into each other and she kind of notices herself that like some bad things are going on. And she's like, oh shoot, what if I actually cursed him? So uh, that's kind of the, the setup for this book. You're just following them as they try and figure out what this whole bad luck curse situation is. And I just love it so much. Also the town that this is set in is like one of my favorite parts of the story because it is set in this small town. And apparently like they go all out for Halloween. Like they have this whole founder celebration that kind of kicks off their Halloween season. Everybody decorates, they have a bunch of festivities and traditions. And honestly, it just sounds so like, I just love it so much. And I love the characters and I love the romance and it's just such a good time. So I am probably gonna finish this today, to be honest, because this is such a short book. Like my only complaint with this book is that it's so short because it's only like 308 pages, which I feel like is somewhat on the shorter end, like for a romance book. I think specifically this book needs like 50 more pages to like properly flesh out like the ending of this book. At least that's what I am remembering. I'll keep you updated on that as I like finish my reread. But I'm pretty sure that's kind of where my thoughts were with it. But like, I don't even care. Like I do not let that impact my enjoyment of this book because it's just so much fun. <laughs> so there is how the X-Hex is going. I have been listening to the audiobook this afternoon while I've been painting my nails. They're black now. It's been a really relaxing afternoon. I've had a good time. Also, I did go to the library and I picked up one of the things that I was thinking was there. Apparently only my hold for one of them was ready and the other two should be like ready later this week. So I will still be reading them in this vlog. But I do have the first one. I'm really glad that it was the first one that happened to come in first. So that's good. And that is <laughs> the Twilight manga. I think it's, it says it's a graphic novel, but like the art style in it is kind of, it's giving manga. You know what I'm saying? But I've known about these for a while and I've always wanted to read them, but I kind of just keep forgetting about it. But then last week I saw Kitty from Spicy Cats Reads talking about how she just read the first one and she really liked it. And that has inspired me to pick them up and read them. And I thought it would just be perfect for this vlog because obviously this is still like spooky romance because it has vampires in it. And honestly, I'm just like, I kind of want to do a reread of Twilight, but I don't know if I can like commit enough time to reread Twilight. So why not read the graphic novel version of it, you know? So I would definitely be picking this up maybe this afternoon because why not? I have a little bit of free time. Later tonight, I am meeting one of my friends to go get sushi, which I'm so excited about. But until then, I do have some free time. So I'm thinking I'm going to read this. So I'm so excited about it. And I'm excited to let you guys know what I think about it. So this will be happening. But I also thought that while we are here, I can do a little Unlumicrate. I was gonna say unboxing, but I have already opened it because I filmed the whole unboxing segment like another time. I just didn't like how it turned out. So <laughs> I'm just gonna show you the things um, again because this box is beautiful, honestly. Like there's so many good things in it and we need to talk about it. So let us get into it. So this is their August box and the theme is Hidden Magic. And we have actually stumbled across a box where I have finally read every single book that like the items pertain to. And that's just really exciting to me. But um, let's get into it. First of all, we need to talk about the thing that I'm the most excited about. And that is the fact that there is another ceramic mug in this box. I love Illumicrate's ceramic mug so much. Rosie Thorns 88 does like the 
art on them and it's always so stunning. And like I have already seen it, but I am excited to just look at it again <laughs> because it's so beautiful. Wait, did I say this was inspired by Priory? This is inspired by Priory of the Orange Tree. It's probably useful information. But look at the dragon. Oh, it's so cool. And then like on the other side you have, ooh, one of them, I think her name's Sabron. What is the other one's name? Also in here, there's a little washi tape set, which I'm so excited about because I love some good washi tape. It'll be perfect for my reading journal. And look at these, they're super cute. These are inspired by the house in the Cerulean Sea. It has, again, been a while since I have read this house in the Cerulean Sea, but I think these are kind of based off of the children that are in like the, the orphanage. I think super pretty. I love these and I cannot wait to use them. Then we also have a little tin book, which I'm super excited about. I do already have a place for it on my shelf and it has been residing there this week. But this is the tin. It says on it, the Book of Eyes. And this is inspired by Sorcery of Thorns. But here's the design on the front and then you have the spine and the back is just more eyes. And it's just a little tin here. I already have some little things in it that I got in a pango order, which was so nice of that person to just like include a little sticker. So that was fun. Um, but it says like um, Sorcery of Thorns there too, which I think is cute. And I will just be putting random book-esque things in it, you know? Then the last like item that we have in here are some bookmarks. And they are the characters from the Mortal Instruments, which I just think is so funny. <laughs> like honestly, it wouldn't be funny if I wasn't watching the Shadowhunter show with Cass right now, but like every time I see these people, I'm like, I just have to laugh. <laughs> but I have actually decided, like I was talking to Cass about this and I asked her if we could share Parabatai bookmarks. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep Jace and I'm going to send her Alex so we can have like matching bookmarks. <laughs> and I'm so excited about it, honestly. <laughs> but um, the art on these is really pretty. Like I do very much love all the art that they do on these like character bookmarks. It's so detailed, but there's those. And then obviously we finally have the book, which I've been seeing a lot of places recently and I'm really excited about it. And that is Zara by S.J. Jones. First of all, she is stunning. I mean, look at her. And then like the spine and she's also on the back. But honestly, like I love the dust jacket, but I love the art on like the hardback of this even more <laughs> because look at them. Like, I don't know what it is about them, but like they are stunning. And then it like continues here and it says the maiden who was loved by death. I mean, like, come on, that sounds so good. Oh, I just like, I love this art. And then we also have these really pretty sprayed edges. Obviously, the Luma Crate is always killing it with the sprayed edges. The end paper art is cute. And then it's also signed. So I honestly cannot wait to get to this one. And I'm really hoping to read it. It'll probably be a minute because right now I'm focusing on like spooky books, you know, but as soon as some time frees up in my schedule, my reading schedule, that is, this one will be put there because I'm really excited about this. Although to be honest, I don't really have a great understanding of what it's about, but I suppose we could figure that out, huh? This says, step into a stunning world of forbidden magic, romance, and adventure. Honestly, pff, that's all I need to know. I am super excited to get to this and I just think that this edition is stunning. So yeah, that's, um, that's all the stuff in the box. Honestly, I think my favorite thing has to be the Priory mug because it's so pretty. I love the colors on it because it's very much like primary colors, which is like, I'm just, <laughs> I just love their mugs. Like they're my favorite things. So um, there we go. That is everything in the box. If you guys did not know, I need to start saying this before I like show you guys the stuff, but I keep forgetting. But I am currently an Illumicrate rep. So if you guys ever want 5% off of a three or six month subscription, you can use my code KD5. I will have everything linked down below. Thank you so, so much to Illumicrate for sending me another box. I'm super excited about next month's box as well. I mean, look at the little, like, I know what that is. Do you guys know what that is? <laughs> because I cannot wait for this book. Although if you don't know what it is, who am I to, oh, hold on, <laughs> hold on, sorry. I just saw that in the next box, there's going to be an item inspired by If We Were Villains. I just read that book and I'm so obsessed with it. Oh, I'm so excited now. Okay, okay, I'm getting too excited, I think. <laughs> you calm down. Um, so that is everything. I'm going to go. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I'm going to read some more of the XX, obviously. And I'm going to read the Twilight graphic novel. So let's get into it.
So I do have to leave soon, but I thought I would give you guys my thoughts on the graphic novel. And like, you know, it itself, like it's not funny. <laughs> but like, just Twilight makes me laugh at this point. Like it's so ridiculous, but I just love it so much. And yeah, like it very much follows um, the events of the book, obviously, although this did come out after the movie. And honestly, I prefer the events of the movie because it doesn't change like the general plot of the book, but I think it just tweaks things and it's just better in the movie. Especially, and I think I said this when I was reading the book last year too, the part where like Edward tells Bella that she's a vampire, like obviously in the movie, they're like in the middle of the woods. He's like weirdly walking around her and he's like, say it. But in the book and in this, they're just like in the car and she just like accuses him of being a vampire. And I'm like, this is lame. I want the tense forest scene. Give it to me, please. But that's not to say that I didn't have a good time because I love consuming Twilight in any form. And this was a fun form. But can I say, I do really like the way that color was used in this graphic novel because for the most part, it's just black and white. But there are certain parts where color does come into it. Like when they went to the meadow and he shows her <laughs> that he sparkles. <laughs> like there is like color on the page. And I thought that was really like, I just really liked that. Look at him sparkling. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. I really liked all of that. And then I think, does it go back to, yeah. And then it just like goes back to being in black and white. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I liked it. I will definitely be reading the other two in this video, I don't think there are any more out and I'm not sure if there are gonna be any more out than the other two because there are two graphic novels per book. So like this one covers, I think like up to halfway through the first book and then the other one will cover the rest of the first book. And then there's half of New Moon, but there's not the second half. So um, but like whatever, it's fine. I already know what happened. So like, I'm not that mad about it. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was just really interesting to see the interpretation of the characters as well, because obviously, even when I read the book, I imagine Edward and Bella as Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Like, there's no way that I wouldn't because like, they're just so, it's like, it's just so iconic. Like you can't not, but it's interesting to see like, just what this artist did with it. Like here are a bunch of characters on this page. That's where two it is. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. No, actually not tomorrow. Probably s uh, Saturday. Saturday, yeah, because it's currently Thursday. I'm doing some other like filming stuff tomorrow for Patreon, but then Saturday. I'm going to hopefully have finished the x hex and I'll give you my final update on that. And then I will get into the other two books that I'm super excited about reading in this vlog. So there are the plans. Um, and yeah, <laughs> there's plans. So it is now Saturday morning. I do have two reading updates for you, which we will get into in a moment because first I have a package. Now I did not order any books. So I'm thinking this is off my Amazon wish list. So I'm really excited. <laughs> and I actually have scissors to open the box with this time. So um, let's take a look. <laughs> Oh, there's three. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I'm so excited about these. Ah, let me show you guys the books first and then I will try and figure out which note goes with which one because I am so excited about all of these. Primarily this one. Look at this cover. <laughs> I, I also know this book is like, it's got illustrations in it and I think I'm gonna love them if I can find a good one. Okay, yeah, I absolutely love it. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so this is, I believe like a middle grade horror spooky book. I don't really know if you would consider like middle grade. It's probably middle grade horror, but this is The Clackety by Laura Senf. And I love the art style on this cover so much. 
and I have no idea what it's about. Ooh, there's an abandoned slaughterhouse in this town that this girl lives in. I already love it. Oh, I mean, just like, look at these illustrations. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I love a good, it's not like illustrated, but I think they're called spot illustrations when they're just like throughout the text like that. And I cannot wait to read this one. Oh, then we also have another book, which I'm super excited about because this is Six Scorched Roses by Carissa Broadbent. This is the novella that you're meant to read between what are those books called? Uh, the Serpent in the Wings of Night and The Ashes in the Star Cursed King. And I have heard so many people just like obsessing over the romance in this novella. And I'm like, it's only like 180 pages. Like how, how can it be that good? So I'm really excited to figure that out. Also, I love like skinny paperbacks like this. Like, I don't know, but I'm really excited to have this. And I also really like the cover art for this. Look. And then something very topical, which is perfect because I just started reading the first book in this series and I can already tell you that I love it. And that is Immortality, a love story by Dana Schwartz. This is, I think it's the second book in the series. Yes. Okay. So it is a duology. Also, I think the covers of these books are so clever because obviously this woman's dress is supposed to look like a brain. <laughs> and I just think it's so fun. Oh, look at the brain on the... I love some good pink foiling. This is so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, um, there are three notes, obviously, for each of the books, and these are all from Brina. I'm really hoping I'm saying your name right, so we're gonna go with Brina. And one of these, I'm kind of guessing the Clackety, says this cover is stunning, so of course I had to send it to you. Oh, I'm so excited about the Clackety. This is another book that is gonna go on my October TBR. And I cannot wait. And this note says, hello, Katie. I hope you enjoy these books. I recently joined your Patreon and cannot wait to see all of the exciting things you have coming. I'd love to be friends. And she also put her Instagram on here. So shout out to you, Brina. <laughs> you icon, you absolutely did not have to send me three books, but I am so excited about all of these. So thank you so, so much. I will definitely probably be reading all of these really soon because me and Elaine have plans to read the second book in this series like somewhat soon as well so obviously I want to read this before that and these two are probably going to end up on my October TBR so this is so perfect and just oh thank you so so much I'm so excited about these so I'm going to go but like stick the notes in these later and I can oh I'm so excited they're so kind so um there's that. I also have some, my reading updates, obviously. Both of these I'm so excited about. <laughs> so first of all, I did finish the X Hex yesterday. I ended up listening to most of this on audio and I think that's how I've consumed this story like for the most part. Or no, because last time I read it, I was annotating it. But that's how I read the book the first time because I couldn't find the book when I originally read this. So I was just listening to it on audio. And honestly, I don't know if I absolutely love the audiobook for this book, but I don't know, I have some sort of weird like short-term nostalgia for it. <laughs> because obviously I only read this book like two years ago, so I don't really know if I can call it nostalgia, but like it was a different time back then. <laughs> for me at least. So like, I don't know, it just brings back good memories and I just love this book so much. Honestly, no notes. I have absolutely no notes. Also, I love the last sentence of this book and it's I need to stop talking about this book, but just know that it was so good. Actually, I was just reading and enjoying this book so much that two days ago, I finally tracked down the fairy loot version that they did of the XX. I don't know why I didn't buy it when like they were initially on sale. Maybe they had sold out. I don't even remember to be honest, but I've been wanting the fairy loot edition of it for a long time. And I will honestly splurge on like my favorite books if they have pretty editions. So I finally broke down and got it and I'm so excited for it to come in. I hope it comes in while I'm filming this vlog because I know it's been shit but I cannot wait. It's also kind of like an early birthday present to myself because my birthday is later this month and I'm like what a better way to celebrate than to get a beautiful edition of like one of my absolute favorite books. So I just cannot wait and I love this book. So um, moving on to something new and different that I have not harped on like a million times before. I have started reading Anatomy, A Love Story, and I am already loving it. Like, I have a feeling I'm going to absolutely adore this book. And like, I had that feeling beforehand, like even before I picked it up, I kind of just knew. But like, now that I've started it, I am on page 57, I think right now. And I like, I am absolutely loving it. So far in this book, we have mainly just been introduced to our main character, Hazel, although we have seen a little bit of Jack already. 
and I really like the little dynamic that's being set up there. Like, I can already tell it's gonna be good. Like, I've, we've gotten nothing so far, but I can just tell that I'm really gonna like it. Like, I just know. But mainly we've just been focusing on Hazel and kind of getting to know who she is as a person, what her life is like, like that, just like normal setup stuff, you know? We've been introduced to her love of science. The whole like book started out with her finding this dead frog on the ground. <laughs> and she started like performing an experiment with like, you know, electricity and like metal making the frog move. But because she is a respectable lady of society, blah, blah, whatever, um, that's not really seen as like an acceptable thing for her to do. And her mother seems kind of crazy to be honest, probably due to the fact that like she, there have been a lot of hardships in her family in recent years, but like her mother would never go for that. So she's kind of just expecting Hazel to um, go find a husband and just do that for the rest of her life. When obviously we know that Hazel has a huge passion for science and she wants to become a surgeon, which is pretty sick. I know I could ever become a surgeon, <laughs> but um, major respect to Hazel, you know, for having that kind of lofty career. Bless you. Sorry, Fritz just sneezed. So we've mainly just been seeing all of that get set up, but also there's this one scene that like mildly horrified me to be honest, because she walked in to like her cousin's house and just sitting there was a, a beggar man, you know, like I would assume he is homeless. And there was this doctor pulling out one of his molars. Like it wasn't like the molar needed to be pulled out. It wasn't like it was a bad molar. It was because this dude, like her uncle, I think, he needed a new tooth. So they just paid this random guy off the street for one of his molars. And like, <laughs> like obvious, I don't, <laughs> Like, I'm sure teeth uh, reconstruction was not a thing then, or like, I don't even know. What do I know about the history of dentistry? No clue. But like, oh god. Just having like one of your teeth pulled out, no sedative, no nothing, just going in raw and then like leaving. I, I was like, that is, no. I cannot think about it right now. Like, it's not scary or anything, but there are some like, unsettling scenes, which honestly, like, I do really like those because I do like a good, you know, like, creepy story, which I feel like it's kind of gonna have creepy undertones to it, because obviously we're dealing with people being dug up from their graves and used as practice subjects. Like, the entire prologue of this book was just two people digging up a grave. And I don't want to say I love it, but I do love it. <laughs> Um, I don't know if any of those thoughts just went together very well, to be honest. I feel like I'm just rambling, but I, I can already tell you that I'm really going to enjoy this book. So yeah, that's kind of just where I'm at with it right now. I'm only 60 pages into it, but I'm really liking it so far. So my goal is to read a ton of this today, which I will definitely be doing. So uh, yeah, that's, um, that's the reading update for now. I'm so excited about this vlog because I just have a feeling I'm going to absolutely love every book I read. Like, Bring Me Your Midnight, I have a good feeling about that. And this one, I already know I'm really gonna like. So this is just... I love a good spooky romance vlog. Like, my spooky romance 24-hour readathon that I did last year is one of, like, my favorite videos just because I love the books that I read in it. And this is also gonna become one of my favorite videos because I'm loving the books that I'm reading in it. So that is so fun. I'm going to go read some of Anatomy. I might do a little bit of updating in my reading journals because it's been a minute since I've done that. So I'm going to just go do some stuff and I'll uh, catch up with you guys a little bit later.
Okay, so it is a few days later now and I do have a couple of things that I'm very excited to talk to you guys about. First of all, I guess we'll talk about my journal first. I did do a little bit of updating in my journal, primarily just like, you know, updating books read and whatnot, but the thing that I just showed you guys is going to be my next like book covers page and I love it to be honest. Like I cannot wait to start using this. I just love the little pumpkins. I think they're so fun. Love that. <laughs> but I also have a quick reading update for you because I have made quite a bit of progress in anatomy. I'm up to page 194 and I'm still loving it. Like I don't think it's going to be a five star but I think it's going to be a really high four star because I just absolutely love this book. <laughs> like the concept, the execution, the characters, the general atmosphere. It's just so good. And we've kind of gotten to the point in the story where like the main plot of this book is kind of kicking in because she has talked to the physician surgeon guy about her trying to pass the medical examination without going to class, which like, <laughs> I hate these men so much. Like they just piss me off. And like, obviously that's the point. But I'm just absolutely loving it. I cannot wait to read some more. We've also gotten some more like interactions between our two main characters, which I live for. Like some of you guys told me that like the romance is not the main point of this book. And like, I kind of knew that going into it, but also like adjusting my expectations a bit, like I'm ready. <laughs> Like, I will pick up the crumbs. I don't even care. Like, it's all good. But thank you to those of you who let me know because that is very helpful information, but I still love it. So that's kind of my update on that. I do also have a book that I got in the mail yesterday that I am so freaking excited about. And obviously I wanted to show you guys because I don't know if you know, I'm sure a lot of people know, but Stephanie Garber, or like not her, like personally, but like her publisher, they re-released the UK hardback of Once Upon a Broken Heart. And I have the UK hardback for, what's that book called? The Ballad of Never After. Love it. It's stunning. And I've just really wanted one of these with like the pretty foiling underneath. So when I saw that they were getting re-released, I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> because these are like stupid expensive online and I'm not going to pay that much for this book. But <laughs> I, I was so excited and like we just need to take a moment to first of all appreciate just like the normal cover of this book because it's so pretty. Also something I, I don't know if you'll be able to, I don't know if I can show you this as well, but there's like this design like in the blue. Can you, it's like, it's got sparkles. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I just really liked that little detail. I noticed it as I was like flipping through it right before this clip. I was like, oh, that's kind of fun, but that's not the best part because we need to talk about like the actual best part. Look at the foiling. Like these are literally some of the most pretty books I've ever laid my eyes on. I love, I just, I just love, <laughs> I just love. I cannot wait for the third book to come out. Um, A, mainly because I just love this series and I really wanna read it. But I do just really want my complete collection of this series because they're all so beautiful. Like these honestly, vying for my favorite book covers. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's so pretty. <laughs> And I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm super excited about it. And then the last thing that I want to share with you guys is something else that I'm also super excited about. I just feel like I'm really excited about everything in this vlog. And it is about what I am wearing because I have this corset that my mom made me because she is an amazing seamstress, like everything she makes, stunning. So I wanted to know if she would make me a Halloween corset. And she did. And I love it so much. Like I'm so obsessed with it. And I just wanted to show you guys because look at it. Ah, also don't mind my Mickey Mouse shorts. We don't have to talk about those. But like, it's so pretty. It's got, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like spider web detailing on it. It's just, it is my favorite thing. So obviously I had to show you guys because it just looks so stunning. Like this is the exact image that I had for this in my head. And the fact that she was able to like bring it to life. I'm so excited about it. So um, expect to see this in like a bunch of my videos in October because I'm, I'm, I'm just so obsessed with it. So yeah, I just had lots of exciting updates to give you guys in this clip. So I think my goal for maybe today is to finish anatomy. I don't know though, because I got very unexpectedly busy with like school and YouTube stuff and it's kind of overwhelming me a little bit. <laughs> But I still like obviously want to be able to complete this vlog because I am very excited about filming this vlog and I love this vlog. So I want to give it the time that it deserves. So like, I think I'll be able to finish it today. We'll see, but um, I think that's everything. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Also Fritz is here. If you heard her snoring, I hope you could actually because it's super cute. <laughs> but 
Um, now I'm gonna go. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so it is again a couple of days later. However, today I do have some good updates for you because first of all, I finished a book. Second of all, I have two books that I want to start slash finish today. I'm not gonna finish both of them today but one of them I think I'm gonna finish today. I also have some book mail and I'm thinking I want to do the book mail first because I have a very exciting package. This should be my fairy loot edition of the X-Hex and I am so excited to get into this. I've been saving this little unboxing for the vlog. So I've been refraining from opening this for at least like 12 hours, which has been killing me. So let us get into it. Okay, she is finally free and I am so excited. Oh, it's so, oh my God, there's more bubble wrap. I'm glad that this is so well packaged, but also I just wanna see it. Here she is with the purple and the ombre sprayed pages. And then I think, yes, under the jacket. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. Oh, I love it so much. And I think it's also signed. There it is. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This needs to be displayed on my bookshelves. I don't know how, but, um. I'm gonna work on that today. I think I might do a wee bit of bookshelf reorganizing because when am I not doing bookshelf reorganizing? But like she needs a moment, especially for like the upcoming Halloween season, she needs her moment. So I, I'm so excited about it. So there's just one exciting book. However, I have another exciting book that cost me a significantly less amount of money. Is that correct grammar? I don't know, but I am so excited about this one. I also got this one yesterday, but I could not wait to open this because I was so scared that it wasn't gonna be the right edition. Like, I thought I was getting scammed, you know? Like, I just did not have high hopes because originally I found this book on this like random website that like sells used books, but like I'd never heard of it before. And there wasn't a picture of like the actual physical book. It was just like the cover. So I was like, I don't know how I feel about like ordering this book from this random website and I can't return it. However, I then looked on the used section of Amazon. That's right, she's always coming through for me. <laughs> and I saw that that website was selling it through Amazon as well. So I was like, okay, perfect. If I don't like it, I can just return it because Amazon, even though they suck, they have a pretty good return policy. So I bought it and I've been waiting for it and I'm, I'm so excited about it because as we all know, I recently read If We Were Villains and I freaking loved it. However, I do have it just sitting right here. The US paperback copy is fine. Like she's nice and floppy. Like I appreciate what she's doing. However, I knew that this edition of this book existed. I just wasn't sure if I was going to be able to find it because I cannot find it listed anywhere aside from like this one website. <laughs> so I bought it. It was only like $15 plus like $4 shipping. So I was like, what's the harm in trying? And look at her. <laughs> I, I don't even know what it is about this because it's not like, you know, the most beautiful book cover I've ever seen. But I just feel like this cover of the book fits it so well. I love the black and the copper. I love the black sprayed pages. It is also signed by Emma Rio. And I was like, you're telling me this is only $15? Like, I don't even know what I've done to deserve such a deal, but I'm so excited. So I'm thinking I want to do like a little dark academia, like cubby situation, like one of these. I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that because like all of them are full, but I'm going to try it. There's my very exciting book mail that I have spent eight minutes talking about and I haven't even gotten to the other updates that I have for you guys. So there's these. Very excited about these, if you couldn't tell. So we're going to um, take a moment to calm down because we all know I get a little bit too excited about pretty editions of books, but I can't help it, okay? Like it just happens. But I do have a reading update for you because I finished Anatomy A Love Story and the ending of this book was so good. Like, honestly, I saw a lot of it coming. I feel like this is a book that's very easy to predict what's about to happen. And even kind of like the twist thing at the end, through some certain reasons, I was able to predict it. And I want to talk about that so badly because I was like, what is going on? But I cannot because like, obviously I don't want to like give spoilers or anything, but it was, I was just like, okay, sure. Like, that's what we're doing now. And I love it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just really enjoyed this book. It's not like a new favorite, but I like, oh, I was reading it this morning. It's been thunderstorming all morning. So I was reading like this last somewhat climactic event that was happening at the end of the book. And it was like lightning and thunderstorm and so much rain. And I was just sitting there thinking like, this is the best possible ambiance I could have asked for 
for like reading the ending of this book. It was so perfect. It was, I mean like that, <laughs> nothing to do with like the actual like book, but the reading experience, top tier. But I just ended up really loving this book overall. Like seeing Hazel and her passion for science and how she is trying to help the people of Edinburgh was really nice. I loved the little bits of romance that were in there as well. Also, I loved like the, the feminist aspects to it, obviously. And I would just highly recommend this book. Like if you guys want a good book for like September, October, November, that's like kind of dark, kind of spooky, but not scary, and there's like a little dash of romance in it, you guys should pick up Anatomy. Like, I'm so excited to pick up the second book, which is sitting right here. So again, thank you, Brina, for allowing me to have this book so I can pick it up ASAP because I'm so excited. Like, I have so many questions. Like, there's so many, like, not that many questions, but like, I have important questions that I need to know the answers to, so I cannot wait to pick this up. Anyway, we also need to talk about what my plans for today are because, excitingly enough, I now have volume two <laughs> of the Twilight graphic novel. So this is now reading priority number one because obviously I need to know what happens at the end of Twilight. It's not like I don't already know, but... Also, one thing I wanted to mention, I had like the most wholesome interaction with the librarians when I went to pick up this hold because I was wearing my haunted library sweatshirt and they stopped me. They were like, oh my God, that is the cutest sweatshirt ever. Like, where did you get it? And we had like a little conversation about it and it was just so lovely. But aside from that, I obviously do need to read the other book that I said I was going to read in this vlog and that is Bring Me Your Midnight, which I'm also really excited about. Forbidden Romance, Forbidden Magic, I think maybe. Um, we'll see. But also, can we take a minute to look at this map in this book? Like, that's so pretty. People like, oh, I love all oh, the moon phases at the top. That's so cool. Honestly, shout out to all the map makers out there because they just like, oh, a good map on the end papers. Always, always a good call. <laughs> but I am super excited to jump into this one. I don't really know much about it aside from the fact that it's forbidden romance, I think. So those are, I think, all of the updates that I had for you guys, but we are going to move on to what I'm actually planning on doing today, and that is doing a wee bit of bookshelf reorganizing because I wanna show off my pretty additions. Like, they deserve to have their own little section. Let's get into that, and then later I will, like, fully get into my reading plan. So, let's go. day. I don't really have much of an update on anything for you, but um, hey. Mainly I wanted to come on here and say that it's the first day of fall today. It is September 23rd. Thank God. I hate summer so much. So now that it is officially fall, I feel at peace, you know? And I was kind of thinking what a better way to ring in the new season than to read some Twilight. Like not actually, but like close enough. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be reading volume two today. Also the weather. 
it's like basically twilight weather because it's kind of gloomy, it's kind of raining, it's perfect. So I'm going to um, read this. Also, I did somewhat reorganize my bookshelves yesterday and I just want to know, um, why do you guys keep letting me reorganize my bookshelves? Because every time I start doing anything to them, it takes me like two hours and I'm sick of it. Like, look, I know it's my own fault and like I could just not mess with them every week or whatever. And I can't lie, some of the shelves I absolutely love. Like the shelf that I put the XX on, can you see that well? Oh, you probably can't see that very well because this is focusing on my face, but I love that shelf. I love my Dark Academia shelf up there. But like, aside from those, I didn't know what to do with the rest of the books that I had moved around. So that took me an embarrassing amount of time, but it's done. And I do like my new shelves. So, well, not new shelves, but like, they're, they're kind of new, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter, but. Um, so yeah, that's my short update. Really just wanting to tell you that I'm gonna read this. morning I have a singular reading update for you and that is that I finished the Twilight graphic novel volume two honestly I liked volume one better and that's kind of how I feel about the movie and the book like the first half of the movie and the book top notch top tier love them but like once you get into the whole like Bella James ballet studio situation like I don't care <laughs> like I've just seen it watched it consumed it so many times I'm like yeah I know like you don't have to tell me again I just really like the first part <laughs> Which I've also seen like a million times, but I just like that part more. So, um, that's not to say I didn't like this though, because it's just so interesting to see Twilight be adapted into like a graphic novel format. It's just very intriguing. Also, I wanted to show you guys, um, now that I have both of these together, look at how that looked. They make a picture. I feel like I'm very easily entertained, but like that's just kind of, it's just kind of fun, you know? I really, again, I really like the use of color in these because like for the most part, they're in black and white, but there are like, like these historical bits, they're in like brown. And I'm like, that's kind of fun. That's kind of different. I like that. I'm glad I read this, but um, I do have a reading update that's not exactly a reading update <laughs> because I have decided I am not going to read Bring Me Your Midnight in this vlog because I just really don't want to. I like, I've just been so busy this last week and I'm so busy this coming week and I need to post this vlog tomorrow, but I have like a million other things that I need to do today. And like one of them is fun. Like I'm going to see House Moving Castle in theaters again because they always show it. Well, at least the last few years they've shown it in theaters in September. So I always go to see it because like that's one of my favorite movies. So I'm like, obviously I want to go see it on the big screen. So I'm going to do that later today. So like, obviously, not something I absolutely have to do, but something I would rather do, but I am super excited about it and I can't wait. I just don't want to read it right now and I want to give you guys like updates about it when I'm like excited about reading it and having a good time and I just don't think that's going to happen if I try and read it like today. So we are just going to not read that in this vlog and I'm so sorry, but um, I do have some plans this morning because while I have... I got a lot of studying to do because I have an exam tomorrow and I'm really not excited about it. But I've decided that before I do that, I just want to do something a little bit fun, you know, because like it's the first few days of fall and I have yet to watch Over the Garden Wall, which is a crime. Obviously, I'm not going to watch the entirety of it, even though that would probably only take me like two hours. But I just want to um, watch a couple episodes of it because this, like nothing else, gets me in the fall mood and that's what I need. And I'm so excited about it. And I'm thinking while I watch a couple episodes of this, I want to decorate the first page of the XX because I love doing a little bit of book decoration, you know? Like for example, I did it in my copy of Fourth Wing. 
if I can find it back. See, like that. I just want to do something like a little bit fun because the XX, as I've said uh, many times before, is one of my favorite books. So maybe, where is it? So I'm thinking I want to do it not on this page because this already has like nice illustration, decoration, whatever you want to call it. I'm thinking this page. I just want to do something that gets me in the fall mood before I go back to studying. So let us do that. And then I'll probably come back and end the vlog because I'm pretty sure this vlog is going to be like over an hour. So yeah, um, let's, let's go do that. I'm, I'm very excited about these plans. It's a little bit later. I watched two episodes of Over the Garden Wall and they were so good. I just like, honestly, it just can't be fall unless I watch Over the Garden Wall. I will probably find time in the rest of my day to watch the rest of the show in its entirety because it's just, it's just so fun. <laughs> but I did also decorate the little first page of the X-Hex. Obviously, obviously it is nothing fancy. However, I just think it's kind of fun. You know? So I had a good time. Also, I had this little witch hat, which was perfect. So, um, yeah, there's that. And this will actually lead us into wrapping up the vlog because I did read this book in this vlog. So I thought we could quickly do a very brief recap over everything that I read in this vlog, and then I will let you guys go. So first, obviously, I did my third reread of The XX. Or is this technically my second reread? I guess it would be the second time that I've reread it because the first time would be the initial read and then you reread it and this is my second reread. I don't know, but I read the XX. I absolutely adored it. And again, it's not fall unless I read the XX. Then I also read Anatomy A Love Story. Again, I really loved this book. It is perfect for this time of year. Just the setting, the atmosphere, the the grave digging, it's perfect. So if you guys want a, uh, a spooky little read, I'd recommend. I cannot wait to get to the second one. And then obviously I read my two Twilight graphic novels and they were really fun. I can't lie. I can't wait to read the 
I don't know if there's one out for New Moon or if both of them are out. Like, I don't think they're continuing doing them for the series, but I would like to read as many as they have. So I'm gonna look into that. Um, and you guys will probably see them in a wrap up at some point, but these were also really fun. So even though I didn't get to like all of the books that I wanted to read in this vlog, I still feel like every book I picked up, I loved. So I'm gonna consider that a win. And obviously I stuck to my spooky romance theme that I was hoping to have for this vlog because we have vampire romance, witchy romance, and um, grave robber romance in a sense. But yeah, anyway, I had such a good time filming this vlog. I feel like this is like the kickoff, like the actual kickoff of my fall content. You know what I'm saying? And I am just so excited. I have so many plans for October. I'm hoping to post twice a week, but please don't hold me to that. But I'm going to try my hardest to put out as many spooky fall videos as I possibly can next month. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, I would love to talk about, well, first of all, any of these, oh, oops. Um, sorry, Edward. I would like to talk about any of these books. We could talk about any of these, or if you guys have any spooky romance wrecks for me, obviously I need all the wrecks. Or if you guys just want to tell me what you guys are reading right now or anything you're planning on picking up soon, I would certainly love to hear about it. Also, if you guys are ever looking for more content from me, I do have a Patreon. We do some fun stuff over there. I post extra videos. We do a monthly buddy read. There's some journaling content on there and we do quarterly readathons. The next one is going to be in October and I am so excited about it. So if you guys want to come and join, you totally can, but you totally don't have to. And now I think that is everything that, oh no, that's not everything that I wanted to tell you because I recently hit 60K subscribers on this channel. And I did want to take a second to thank you guys for it because that's just absolutely crazy. Like, I don't know, every time I hit a new milestone, I'm just like, what happened? But also, yay, like, it's just, oh, I love it so much and I, I just love you guys so much and thank you so much for being here and supporting me in any way or even just watching the videos or like whatever. You guys just being here is amazing and yeah, just thank you. So I think with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you're all having a spooky or just cozy September so far and I will see you guys in my next video.